Throughout history, the lives of kings have often been intertwined with the actions and reputations of their spouses. The concept of promiscuity among royal wives is a subject that has intrigued and scandalized societies across different eras and cultures. While historical accounts often glorify kings, the promiscuity or alleged promiscuity of their wives has frequently been a source of fascination, gossip, and even political turmoil. Examining these instances sheds light on the complexities of power dynamics, gender roles, and societal expectations prevalent in various historical periods. But first, smack the devil out of the subscribe button so you will never miss out on another historical adventure. But now, back to business. One notable figure in history known for her alleged promiscuity was Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia from 1762 to 1796. While she is celebrated for her contributions to Russia's growth and modernization, her private life was often a subject of salacious rumors and scandal. Though much of the gossip about her numerous lovers might have been exaggerated or politically motivated, the perception of Catherine's promiscuity persisted and became an enduring part of her historical legacy. Similarly, Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII of England, faced accusations of promiscuity and adultery. Her relationship with Henry VIII led to the separation of the Church of England from the Roman Catholic Church and the English Reformation. However, Anne's failure to produce a male heir and the political intrigues at court ultimately resulted in charges of adultery, incest and treason. Her alleged promiscuity played a pivotal role in the downfall of her marriage and ultimately her tragic execution. These historical examples highlight how the behavior and perceived promiscuity of royal wives could significantly impact political alliances, succession, and the stability of kingdoms. The public scrutiny of these women often stemmed from patriarchal societal norms that held women accountable for maintaining the moral integrity of the monarchy and ensuring the legitimacy of heirs. Furthermore, the portrayal of promiscuous royal wives in historical narratives reflects broader societal attitudes toward female autonomy, sexuality, and power. Women who defied societal expectations of chastity and submission were often vilified, their actions viewed as threats to the established order. Their reputations were manipulated and weaponized for political purposes shaping the narratives that survived in historical records. It's crucial to acknowledge the biases and limitations of historical accounts regarding the promiscuity of royal wives. Many of these narratives were constructed by male historians and court chroniclers who were influenced by their own biases, political affiliations and cultural norms. As a result, these accounts often reflect the perspectives and agendas of those in power, rather than providing an objective portrayal of the lives of these women. Thank you kindly for watching.